Here's both the apple trees that I planted this spring. Over here is the Johnifree apple, which really is doing well. It does live up to its name about being much more resistant to apple blight and virus. Looks nice. Now my husband said I had to plant a Honeycrisp because that's his favorite. Having big troubles with the Honeycrisp. Look at leaf curl. Not looking good. Not sure what to do on that. But anyway, I was in the mood to can some apples. And of course, I don't have any yet. So I decided to take a walk in the woods. This is an existing apple tree on our property. It's probably, oh, maybe 25 feet tall. And there's no way I can reach any of the apples. I don't know if you can see them up there. Okay, here I am trying to get them up a little closer. There are apples in this tree, but they're way too high for me to get. And when they drop, it makes the deer happy. Okay, so let's go on a little foraging treasure hunt, looking for either crab apples, because I can make applesauce with those, or regular apples that a lot of people will call deer apples. Anyway, here we go into the woods. Let's see what we can find. Beautiful day for a walk in the woods. There's a doe hiding right over there. I'm sure if we try to get closer, she'll take off. Maybe not. There she goes. There she goes. Okay, here's what I was looking for. I knew that there would be an apple tree somewhere around here. And, whew, don't want to fall while I'm doing this. There they are. All ready for the picking. And these are just apples growing on an abandoned tree in the woods next to my home. I am sure the deer love them. Are they perfect? No, of course not. They have spots on them. These have not had any pesticides on them. So they are not going to be perfect. This is about as organic as you can get. Okay, so here's the tree I'm picking from. And you always want to look because usually there's more than one apple tree because they need more than one to fertilize each other. Here's the other apple tree. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. Watch where I'm walking. Way up there. There are some apples on that tree, but there's no way I can reach them. So for this tree, I've picked mainly everything I can reach. There's still a quite a bit more, but I need to get my husband, who's a foot taller than me, I'm only five foot one, to help harvest the rest of them. So here's what I gathered today. My bushel basket. As you can see, it's about a little more than half full. And when my husband gets home, we'll get the ones higher up on the tree. Okay, let's see what these pretty ugly, it's got a lot of blackish spots on it, indentations. Let's see what it's like inside. It looks completely okay inside. Is this something? Let's see. Might have been a little blemish there. 
These things are mainly only skin deep. And it tastes pretty good. Let's try this one. This one's really gross. Very misshapen. Look at that. Again, when you go inside, these all seem to be fine. Uh, no worms, even though they don't look great on the outside. So the moral of the story is don't judge an apple by its peel. Once you peel these, they're like any other apples. They would make great applesauce or canning up apples, apple pie. They taste great. I have no idea what variety they are, because like I said, I just found them walking out in the woods. Mm -hmm. You want to help me out with this? Huh? I'm curious what's in there. You don't eat apples. This is Prepper Potpourri signing out. I hope you will subscribe, and please continue to share the knowledge. Thank you.